Hello my loves, what is good? It's your girl Victoria Jane and today I thought we would do something a little different um, instead of doing makeup which as you can see is all already on we're going to do my 2018 favourite makeup products and we've got a lot so let's get into it so I think it's pretty easy to say that if you do follow me on Instagram which I'm probably sure about 90% of you follow me on there um, because you've obviously came from there to here that one of my most loved products for this shade is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomades um, I use the shade Auburn too dark and it's not too light for me um, I always like to have quite prominent brows so so yeah I love this it is much loved I have to get more a lot more um, so I never run out but yeah I love her I think if you're wanting more of a defined brow and if you haven't got any hair in certain places like for me I don't have any hair really in the front of my brows I use this a lot and it works amazing like amazing so we've got her also have from Anastasia the brow wiz and um, I think that if you do have quite full brows this is your gem your your dream come true literally have the spoolie on one end and then you have obviously the twist up pencil on the other and yeah I think it's just hella cute for just filling in even your hair like in between it's it's amazing and for me even though I hardly have much hair in the front it's easy to create almost like a fake effect of hair so yeah love her and last but not least I love the Gerard Cosmetics brow bar to go this is in the shade oh my good lord medium to ebony the actual pigment itself is very very full like even though, like I said, I hardly have any hairs in the front, I can make my hairs look really fluffy and full with this. Um, and normally all I use is the Anastasia 7B brush, which basically has your angled brush on the end and then a spoolie on the other side. And to set the brows, we have Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Genuinely, I never thought I would want to pay that much we all know anastasia is a bit high end we know that i never thought i'd want to pay that much for a brow gel but wow it's amazing now we're going to move on to the eyes so as you can see right now i do have a pink blue and yellow feel going on i miss summer already i want it to be here already and for this of course i just include this we use the james charles artistry palette with morphe Got that cute right on the front, reflective, and then inside is what she looks like. Gorgeous variation of colours, tons of colours to choose from. I feel like this is easily one of my most used palettes now, 100%. But yeah, love her. Got like a whole pack of palettes right here that are all full of colour as well. Um, First up we have the Sample Beauty Cult Palettes, which looks like that. And we've got all those colours inside, gorgeous variations of colours again. And for me, I'm always attracted to like pr very pigmented, just colourful palettes like this. I can't help myself no matter how much I've got, I need more. So we have her, we have the Sample Beauty, is it Paradigm? Paradigm? I don't even know, it's just, it's, it's the Sample Beauty Palette. And she is a lot bigger with more variation of colours. Again, it's a decent size. It has a mirror. Um, yeah, pigmentation in both of them are that. Next, we have the Life's a Drag M U M E M E M E M E what? Manny M U A palettes. For this, I absolutely adore. Um, I actually use this a lot for my clients. That I do makeup on. Um, so this is my own one. I've got my clients one at work. Um, so yeah, this is my own one, um, and I absolutely adore this. The pigment in this is genuinely stunning. Stunning, for, even the white is insane. Um, and the pink is one of my faves in here, right there. So yeah, love her. Next we have the Slush September Rose Cosmetics Palette. Absolutely stunning. Like, she is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the Sample Beauty one. Um, but again, they both have their own kind of pigments. A little bit different. This one is... I mean, it kind of has the same colours, to be honest. Kind of. But again, she's stunning. She is much used. 
kind of used, literally. And yeah, again with a mirror as well, so proper handy. And then we have the BH Take Me Back to Brazil. I'm not gonna lie, the sizing of the pigments in this isn't my favourite. I hate this whole circle scenario. It feels like when I was 12 again, you know, with like those mini palettes that have like the tiny little circle bits of eyeshadow, you could get like one dip out of. Not my thing, but don't get me wrong, the palette is really good. Um, it's really pigmented and yeah, just dig in there because it, it will come, trust me. And then you've got your Morphe 35B palette, which is somewhere in one of these drawers. I have no idea where. Um, but yeah, I use her as well. She is really good. I think that was the first colourful palette I used. Morphe 35B, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I've been buying them ever since. I think she's kind of like, she, she's a must-have in one of my, my drawers. Like I always just have one backed up, like, just in case I run out. But yeah, love her too. Now let's get on to your more neutral toned eyeshadow. So more like your everyday kind of glam. Um, I have quite a lot of these as well. I love, and I'm not even just saying this because of obviously PR and stuff, but genuinely every single one of these palettes I've used from Anastasia are amazing. Um, I did try their first batch of the Subculture and didn't like it, but the one I've been sent, which also I'm guessing by now is the revamped one, um, I absolutely adore. I've used this before on live on Instagram and the pigment worked amazing. All colors in this are absolutely stunning, recommend. The same with the Modern Renaissance, I think this is everyone's kind of favourite as well. Um, soft Glam, which is gorgeous, I think this is more of like your everyday kind of eyeshadow palette. It's got every colour you need basically for an everyday look. And you've got your Narvina as well. When this came out, I was shook. I needed to have it. So I'm so glad I was able to be sent it because it's absolutely stunning. And you've got your Prism, which this shade. It took a bit of work to get it to the full opacity that I wanted, but she came through. It still worked. Would I have been better off with just a little less work? Yes. Who wouldn't? One, I'm very lazy, be on with this. But she's still gorgeous and yeah, 100% love all of them. All of them. I think most of the shadows from Anastasia are very pigmented and just the opacity. Like I've never had a problem really with any of them as such. Like I said, with the Prism palette, the yellow in there it is a bit more of a buildable pigment but I mean if you don't mind that then cool there ain't really anything to complain about so yeah next we have the Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette this is stunning literally I only tried this out this year I'm pretty sure everyone on Instagram has already tried this at one point it ain't new we know this but I only tried it out this year literally a few months ago and it is stunning genuinely one of my favorites to use the pigments in this are Beautiful, just just beautiful, and yeah, I love it. Really like her. This one, oh my goodness, legit. This is one of the prettiest. If I can get her out, we're gonna get her out because she needs to be shown off. Fuck. This is one of the prettiest palettes I've ever owned in my entire life. Legit, this is the nude Huda Beauty palette. Whenever I see it in my drawer, I have to open it and be like, yo. This is stunning. It is beautiful. You get this card inside. Let's try that again. You get this card inside of it to protect the shadows. You get a mirror and yo. What is that? What? Have you seen something so pretty? I can't. I've done a video on this on my Instagram and my YouTube. If you haven't seen it, I will obviously link it down below. But yeah, it's just. Mm. It almost looks like little crystals, legit little crystals. I can't, I can't, I cannot get enough. I did also like some of Huda Beauty's, well, almost all of them to be honest. Her um, obsession palettes, like the minis. Some of these were really nice. Um, I've got the whole lot, and they're just cute little palettes like this to do different looks with. Um, and yeah, I actually liked quite a lot of these to be honest. The only one I just fell out with was the Amethyst. Me and Amethyst didn't get along very well. Um, I'm quite sad as I liked every other single palette that was in that little bundle that I got. Um, but Amethyst was just... Mm -mm. 
We also got new liquid eyeshadows from Huda Beauty, which by the way, I still need to do a video on. Um, I don't know if like you even want to see that or not. Let me know down below if you do want to see that or not, because genuinely I think it's amazing. I'll show you just some of these liquid shadows. So you obviously get the matte tone on top, like so, and then you get the shimmers on the other side that match that shade in i love these get them as well in the cutest little bag i don't know if you get this normally or maybe it's just pr i don't know but it came in the cutest little bag which by the way i would use on a night out and we forgot one and um, but yeah i think these are absolutely stunning i actually used this um on my christmas eve post on my instagram and um, it's where i'm wearing the white dressing gown and the purple in this is absolutely stunning highly recommend these for a liquid eyeshadow, I genuinely did not think they would work. I thought that it would dry down too quickly and then you couldn't blend it or if you weren't fast enough, it wouldn't blend. Um, but no, it blended amazing. The shimmer shades as well were absolutely stunning. Um, I just really, really like these. Um, like if I knew what they were going to do, even if I didn't get sent these, I would have still bought them genuinely because they're really nice and just like a handy little thing on the go. Um, so yeah, definitely like, my god, how could I forget? Sorry, we're going back to the colourful palettes. I told you that I love colour, so this is mostly going to be all about colour. Um, but I forgot the EYN Brights palette from Beauty Bay. Wow, how could I forget this? Like... Fuck. It is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like, the colours in this are just... Oh, the pink and the red, like, wow. You know how you can struggle so much to find a decent red? Get it here. Just just get it here. It is more of like the warm orangey under, um, undertone, but it's absolutely stunning. <sighs> love. Just love. Oh, the Morphe 35O Nature Glow Palette. I love. Um, that's actually at work as well, but do love her. <sighs> We're finished with the eyeshadows. Thank God. Okay. Next, what we're going to go on to is liners. I don't really use much coloured liners. It is mostly just like your blacks or browns. Um, like I have white and stuff. If you want to, this can come under liquid lipsticks, but I choose it as a liner. So It is the Jeffree Star Liquid Lippy in Drug Lord. Um, as you can see, it is a pure white shade. Um, this genuinely for a liner, I think is absolutely stunning. Even if you put this down first and then put your colour um, shadow on top, works amazing. We've got her. This eyeshadow, I, I, we have a love-hate relationship, mostly hate, but it's very pigmented, like very, very pigmented, but it cracks. Before I, but before I even tell you what it is, you, you know what it is, as soon as I say the word crack, it cracks to filth. It is the, the NYX White Liquid Liner. Um, If only this didn't crack, this would be legit my favourite white liner. Like, hands down, if this didn't crack. Like, it's very, very pigmented. Um, but legit, within not even five minutes, you can see little cracks along the line that you've made or whatever design you've made, you can see cracks going along it. Um, some people haven't suffered from this, which I'm jealous of, really. Hello, my love. So, we're back. My camera died. But we're back. And what we were on was liners. I do also like the Body M waterproof liners in obviously they're black and white. I love this. I've got the white on just now. And yeah, I'm obsessed with these two. Um, I've used them quite a lot in my looks lately, but yeah. Affordable and they're pigmented, so why not? Okay, liners done out of the way. We're then gonna move on to the lashes. And I'll show you the ones that I've got on today. I'll zoom y'all in. So the ones that I've got on today are So Extra Mykonos by Lily Lashes. These are very full and dramatic. In yeah, I love these so much. These are definitely one of my favourites from them. I'm going to zoom y'all back out and show you some other goodies that I love. One of my all-time favourites, and I mean favourites, is Lily Lashes in the style Miami. Genuinely, when I first heard about Lily Lashes in the first place, um, every like beauty guru influencer, whatever you want to call them, um, loves these, and I do too so much. Genuinely obsessed with Miami. Um, so yeah, them those two are definitely my top two favorites from Lily Lashes. For me, I'm not normally a natural gal when it comes to lashes. 
but with, with them they just work. Okay, so we do actually have quite a lot of lashes that are like my go-tos or have been throughout 2018 um, and I know that will continue to be. So going on to Tati Lashes, ta 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 I can't speak today, ignore me. We have Tati Lashes in the style T.L. Mitchell, very full. Um, when I first seen these, I didn't think I'd be a fan, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really into this like quite dark strip all the way. Um, I quite like it either separated or just dramatic in some places, but not quite as full as this. They look beautiful in the eyes. We also have TL3 from Tati Lashes. They're upside down, I know. But they've got this more like separated effect, which I love. It's almost like really wispy and just fluttery lashes, which I always enjoy. Y'all know, if you have been following me for a while, especially on Instagram, um, you'll know my go-to, oh my god, lashes for so long, and still are. Our Celeste, look at this box, like it is damaged. It's ripped apart and I love these so much. It is Celeste Los Angeles Lashes in the style Barbie. Genuinely one of my favorite lashes I've ever tried throughout like my whole career makeup. Genuinely, these lashes are absolutely stunning. Like they're my type of lash. Everyone I think has their own type of lash, which, which suits their face, what suits their eye shape. For me, oh, these remind me kind of of the So Extra Mykonos. Like this kind of lash is just perfect. Recently got some lashes from Backstage Beauty. They were kind enough to send me a bunch of theirs. And this again is remind like basically the same kind of as your Barbie lashes from Celeste and your Mykonos, so extra Mykonos lashes from the lashes. It's basically the exact same kind of fullness. Um, yeah, love these. We have Eldora lashes in the style M111. These I do for a lot of like my dramatic looks on Instagram. Um, but they're genuinely one of the prettiest, probably the one of the longest pairs of lashes I have in my whole collection. Um, they're very, very long, wispy, and just, yeah, they look absolutely stunning on the eyes. I would probably wear these, to be honest, without eyeshadow. Like, I'd probably wear these in, like, my day-to-day -day going out. And, of course, I mean, I had to include my own lash, didn't I? Let's be real. We, of course, have Bow Beauty and my collab, my lashes. It has moi on the front with my name. And then, of course, you have all the details on the back, the sides. Um yeah, I'm just, I still can't believe this even happened, like yo, still can't believe this happened. 2018 was a bomb year for my career in just this overall. But yeah, these are what they look like. So again, have more Simply Extra, um, Jordanelli done the illustrations on the front, back and in here. She's an amazing artist. Please look her up, I'm going to include her Instagram down below. Um, but yeah. These are the lashes here. Like, this is me. Come on. I love a dramatic lash. Something that is a statement on the face. Yeah. They're so cute. I love them. They're so, so cute. Massive thank you to Bo Beauty for even coming through with this. Um, yeah, the packaging speaks to me. I love marble. I'm obsessed. Obsessed with marble. Um, and yeah, just the colour and everything in this is just, it's stunning. So yeah. Definitely one of my favorite things to ever happen in 2018 was that. But okay, lash is done. Out the way. We're now gonna go on to the face. Two, two all time favorites that I've used. I mean, y'all know. One of them, first of all, is Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I can't stress enough how much I love this foundation. Oh, like I just, they're, they're so good. I just, I love them all, legit. Like they're my, my little, my little babies that just stay in the drawer and just stay there forever. I will never run out of this because I love it that much. Like seriously, I'm obsessed. Six pound, it's six pound. It's six pound. I'm, I'm sorry, what? What? That's a bargain. And it looks amazing on the skin, like amazing. Next we have the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect. Foundation and it is amazing. Is it concealed and perfect? Yes, it is. I got that right. It is. It's amazing. Legit. Very, very full coverage. Um, it says medium to full, but to me, it's it's full coverage. Um, my shade is sand beige. When I have fake tan on, I need to get a shade that matches my natural skin tone. Um, but yeah, highly recommend if you like full coverage because this is bomb. Really good, and it's like twelve pound again. Drugstore affordable. Amazing. Milani. Get it. Now, concealers. 
we're going to go in first of all with Collection 2000s. This has been a good old friend of mine's for a good few years now. Um, I don't necessarily use this underneath, but I use this as an eye base for my eyeshadows. Um, it is £2. Or even like one ninety nine in Boots in the UK. I don't know if this you get this in America. I don't actually know. Um, but amazing nonetheless. It is so good. I use the shade 0 um, just so I can get a really white base and pack on that colour like today. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing. And it is the most cheapest concealer I've ever came across literally in my entire life. And it works. Like, wow. So we've got her. I also have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, I use the shade NC20 or NC15 depending on if I'm wearing fake tan or not. But yeah, another really great foundation actually. I use it for my clients a lot as well. And one that I don't have with me right now is the Makeup Revolution Concealer. You all know that that is legit a dupe for the Shape Tape from Tarte Cosmetics. Um, it is amazing and it is £4. What? It's four pound. It's four pound. Now we're gonna get on to. We've got a lot to cover here. We've got a lot to cover here. We're gonna move on to some pressed powders and loose powders. First of all, one that I've literally tried. Well, I, I got it on today, um, and I literally tried like in December. So literally, like, not even a full month ago, was the Wet and Wild press powder. And um, this is in the shade Warm Light. Which, by the way, Wet and Wild included this in their. Um, advent calendar they sent me and it is the perfect shade for my pale ass skin tone thank you but yeah it is just a pressed powder um i love it it's it's really lightweight it's not cakey it, i use it on under my eyes it hasn't caked at all like at all um and yeah i really just i like it as an overall finish and um, it doesn't have any color to it not that i've experienced um so yeah i love it also have for pressed powder which is one of my rider dyes. We have the sorry guys. We have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder, and this is in the shade Translucent. So there's no color to this. I legit went through about twenty of these. Like, I can't stop. And um, I have some more backed up, ready to get used. But yeah, it's like it's like six pound. I'm telling you, I am drugstore. Always like I love drugstore. I love my high end too. But drugstore for me. I found so many good products in the drugstore that I just can't let go of and these are one of them so I highly recommend. Loose powders, I have the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Sugar Cookie um, I've never tried Huda Beauty products until they sent me it um, and I've fallen in love ever since, literally um, it doesn't give me flashback, it doesn't make me dry out like under my under eyes I use it sometimes to set my whole face um, it's just a very light powder if you do not like scents i wouldn't recommend this because it's very potent um it almost has like a perfumey deodorant kind of smell but i like that i mean who doesn't want to smell nice especially on their face so yeah. i don't have it with me okay not i've got it at work but i have the vici um derma blend powder in universal it is from boots so drugstore it is 18 pound i believe so i'll bet on the next higher end kind of side but it's still drugstore um i love that legit again one of my ride or die products um it's one of my faves and again it does it i think to be honest i used to bake with it and it used to be quite dry underneath my skin but now i just literally um pat it on with a brush and then dust it off afterwards and it works amazing um it doesn't leave me dry it doesn't give me any dry patches anywhere on my face and um, some products i've used in the past have done which you know they're dry they're gone um but yeah again i love that i think now we're on to bronzers are we on to bronzers i think we're on to bronzers yeah why not so one that i've been loving loving lately is the anastasia powder bronzer in saddle this is my shade that i use it's quite warm and um, so i do use this when i have a tan so right now no i haven't used this and um, but it's really nice for if i have got like that um my golden beige um, foundation on from Wet n Wild. It goes on beautifully, blends out like a dream. Also today I've actually went for like more of a cooler tone. It does look quite warm on me, but for me it's cool. This is actually the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. Um, I use this a lot with my clients and I've kind of stolen it for myself again. <laughs> and used it and I used this shade today for me. I'm very, very, very pale. So if you're pale like me, I recommend that one right there, more on the cool tone side. But yeah, this is overall a great palette and it was like, was it £8? 
hate them for all the shades like obviously you're not going to use all of them if you're just yourself but if you're like me who does makeup on clients um this would be great for you this is legit like my ride or die i keep saying that for like almost every product but guys i can't live without it it is the park of princess chisel palette from tarte cosmetics <gasps> me up the smell is fucking amazing like oh my goodness look at it oh the smell is like it's like buttery chocolate like oh my god it's like a lint like a lin lindor lin 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 linda lindor chocolate like it's just like this creamy chocolate like, i can't even describe it but the smell sold me already, like it sold me, but the, the colours in this and the pigmentation is beautiful. Um, I have actually tried this under my eyes and it does brighten a lot, um, but sometimes I'm just lazy and don't do that, so. But yeah, overall great palette again, even for clients or just yourself to be honest, you can mix and match. Um, but yeah, awesome palette, love it. What else have we got? <laughs> oh, this is from Technique. Technique contours are amazing. I've got like eight of them now and they're absolutely brilliant. This one's in caramel, which is like my go-to. She's brand new. So you haven't used her yet. My other one is looking pretty gnarly, so we're not gonna show her. But yeah, this is one of my dryer dyes too. Now we're gonna get on to the highlighters. Oh yes. Okay. First off, let me just go in with some drugstore. We have sleek. This is not even a highlighter, yo, this is an eyeshadow. But I use its highlighter, so we're gonna class its highlighter. Just bear with me. But this is one of the prettiest for pale people like me. Legit, let me just show you how pretty this is. Are you kidding? Mate, are you kidding? Look how pretty it is. It is absolutely stunning. It's almost like this pearl, just like white pinky i don't even know how to describe it it's just a really pretty overall highlighting um shade you can also use this for like the inner corner the brow bone you can use this for whatever the hell you want to be honest you know what i mean it's, it's whatever you want to do that but i use this most as a highlighter and i love it next up for my pale skin tone i have on right now it's almost like a pink champagne kind of tone is the wet and wild highlighter from blossom glow i'm obsessed with this it with Obviously, my natural skin tone, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, just like a really glowy, youthful, making myself sound like I'm older than I am, but you know, just pretty overall look. Um, yeah, stunning. Huda Beauty Golden Sands Edition. She is stunning. I always use Sicily, 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 I don't know what it's called, but it's this one right here. Um, the blush is actually really cute, like really cute. I haven't tried the rest. This one I know will be a bit too deep for me, which, you know, is fine. But yeah, love them all, regardless. Um, the Sub-Zero palette from Mitchell and Be Perfect. When I actually first opened this and swatched it, it didn't swatch great on my hands, which I was really disappointed in. Um, like, I remember ordering it, then getting sent it from them, and I tried both of them to see, you know, if it was different at all. Like, maybe I got, like, a dud. But it wasn't, the swatches just wasn't it for me. But then, I done it on the face. Wow. The shades in this are absolutely stunning. Again, great for someone who does makeup on clients and um, because obviously it's got a lot of different diverse tones in it. But again, overall, just really pretty. All of the Anastasia palettes, literally. This one with Amrezi was an absolute killer. I love this. Genuinely made my damn life. Even the packaging is absolutely stunning. And um, one of my faves. We have Pretty Little Glow from Doll Beauty cute little packaging and she's there really pretty again this is very blinding and um, so for a natural everyday look i wouldn't say so i would say it's more like your snatched heavy looks but yeah really cute legit one of my rider dyes again i keep stop saying that but it is is ofra cosmetics their highlighters are absolutely stunning like beautiful um, this is in the shade Rodeo Drive. It's absolutely gorgeous. I need to get back. I've got their one with Nikki Tutorials. Um, oh my god, what's it called? Everglow. I'm a bloody thank you. Yeah, Everglow. I've used this till it's literally died almost. It's getting there. This one cracked as well. This one all fell out. 
I never used it, so I mean, I ain't, I ain't the first. But it all fell out, so. <laughs> so yeah. But again, this shade right here is stunning. I need to get it in a single pan. Um, yeah, both these are absolutely beautiful. Had to put in one of my babies. This is Bow Beauty in my collab. This is in the shade Shannon. Shannon, 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 Shannon. Yeah. And it's beautiful. My chair won't shut up. Try to ignore that. But I'm going to open her up and show you the pigment. Like, are you joking? Are you joking? It is a loose pigment. So be careful. But yeah. One of my many beauties, if you want to check out the rest of my highlighters with Bow Beauty, it's on my page and also on Bow Beauty's page, which I'll link below. But this shade is called Shining, which I love using on no matter if I'm tanned or not, it still looks absolutely beautiful. And of course, you can build it, you can have it as tame if you feel like. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I absolutely adore it. Again, one of the best things that happened in 2018 was coming out with that with them in, yeah. I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. Okay, I can't actually find it, which is kind of stressing me out a little bit. It'll be- oh wait, it's right here. It's- it's the Body M. I'm so stupid. It's the Body M lip liner. I need to get more of this because it is legit teeny tiny. But it is the Body M lip liner in the shade 16. If you're wanting like a nude, warm, but brown, undertoned liner, this is the one. This is my go-to. Like, I've got it on today, it is absolutely beautiful, I love it, it's like the perfect nude for me, um, yeah, she's, she's, say with me, a ride or die, literally, I've been loving the Anastasia liquid lippies, um, again, I only tried them out this year, yeah, I'm very late with everything, but I just, yeah, I don't know, but I've been using them ever since. The one I've got on right now is called Pure Hollywood. Was it Pure Hollywood. Pure Hollywood. Um, again, your liquid lippy does not come off. Legit, does not come off. Um, it's great. The only time I'm off, do you know, just like in the center, like here, like the like the little butthole thing you get. Yeah, yeah, I get that sometimes when I drink. But other than that, it's not a problem. Um, it feels comfortable. It doesn't crack my lips or nothing. It feels great. Anastasia lipsticks um, are amazing. This one is in nude, and it is my go-to. I have this in like my everyday makeup bag. It's a like really, um, it's like a warm toned kind of nude, but I love it. It's absolutely stunning. One of my faves. I've got this. is This is a liquid vinyl. I still don't know the shade of this. I'm gonna have to look it up online to get the shade because it doesn't say it on it anywhere. This is actually from Boohoo, which I know some of y'all might be like, wait, Boohoo, but that's clothing. Like Boohoo doing makeup. What? Genuinely, this is really good. They sent this to me uh, a few months ago. And I have not stopped using it since. It's quite light. Um, and it is more of like your peachy. How can I do this? More of like your peachy undertone. But it's really pretty. Um, I use this in the center, just pat it out. Oh, I love the Huda Beauty liquid lip stocks. And they're demi, demi, demi mattes. Um, they have got some of the most comfortable um, lipsticks and um, lip liners it glides on like butter I can't even explain it like it's so creamy and smooth like wow it's amazing oh Gerard Cosmetics how could I forget about Gerard Gerard Cosmetics again has some of the most comfortable liquid lipsticks ever and um, they're not drying and um, they don't flake off they they feel genuinely comfortable and I cannot feel them when I'm on my lips like at all Um highly highly recommend actually they're one of my favorites 100% for facts. This is beautiful for a lip topper. It is the Jouer lip topper in Skinny Dip. I was about to call it Sugar Dip. I don't know why. Sk skinny Dip. Um, it is absolutely stunning. I've got to show you this. Wait, let me put it here. Like, look at it. It's stunning. Like, it's just such a pretty shine to it. And, I mean, I would wear this on its own. I'd wear this over... Do you know what? I'm going to put this over the top. Let me put this over the top. Just so I can show you. Look at it. Like, it is just so pretty. Look 
it makes my lips look already massive. I don't know how it does it. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's just a really nice, gorgeous, golden tone to it. It doesn't take off the lipstick underneath. Um, and yeah, it's actually quite long lasting for a lip topper gloss, however you want to call it. Is that it? I think that's it. Is that everything I've covered? I've done brows, I've done lashes, eyeshadows, lip liner, lip gloss, foundations, bronzer slash contour, highlight, no lip li no um, liner. I think I've done everything. Okay. So, to wrap everything up, that is my 2018 favourites and they will continue to be my favourites because legit I use them all the time but if you have any recommendations of products that I also of course I haven't listed and you want me to really try out please comment them below I want to get into more of that and just try out things that I wouldn't necessarily go for as well um, so yeah comment down below anything like that that you might want to see in my videos in the future of course like, comment, subscribe to my channel and yeah, I am going to come back with another video on Wednesday. I'm excited for this year. I hope that everyone has had a great start to the new year. I'm excited to come up with new ideas and um, just be creative again. I feel like the last few months of 2018 was a bit of a slump for me. Not even the last few months, it was like in December really, it was like a kind of a slump. Like I didn't really come up, come up with much creativity, I think just because of Christmas and then my birthday and then things were... Crazy things, you know, just heaps of things were happening and, and obviously busy, just being busy in general. And yeah, so I'm excited to get back and be creative and I've missed adding colour into my looks. I've missed it, so, so yeah. And of course, I hope that we'll be getting a lot more makeup content out on here. I want to start doing vlogs at some point. I love watching vlogs on YouTube. Like, I don't care who you are, I'll watch your vlog of you, like, going shopping in, like, Asda. I don't even care, I'll just watch it. So hopefully I'll come up with some creative content for that as well. Of course, I can't thank you all so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart for making 2018 my year, because um, it generally felt like it was. So much things happened, so much opportunities in my career is how it's, it's there today. How it's today because of y'all. So thank you so much. I'll be forever grateful. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a bomb ass day slash night wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye.